what is the next step on the agenda? You're going flying class. Ooh, flying class. Let's go. Is that a broom? Can I get my own broom? Do I have to buy it? And how far can you fly? That'd be Thank awesome. You, the cross one's duel is to beat. <gasps> That's cool. Oh, oh you're really oh. bad at that. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yes, begin. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. <laughs> Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's <laughs> see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. What seat? Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. That must hurt. <laughs> right? There's no actual seat on that. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Yo. Now. Okay. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. How do I go the brooms forward? are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Whoa, this is pretty <laughs> difficult. This is brilliant. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Chill, I'm just getting started. This next set of rings will take speed. you around the ground Toggle flight for speed. more of a challenge. Oh, shoot. What a view! Kinda wonky, but it's cool. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. What 
There's a chest there. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. What? Giant squid. That's so cool. Ha! That wasn't too bad. Watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as Whoa. ever. Whoa. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> oh, nice. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And no. the Almery. Oh. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, as a Awesome. Whoa. Carried away. Getting carried away. Yo, the Quidditch field. That was awesome! Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. You know it. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Yes. No regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky.
going close. That's cool. Um, I need to buy my own room. How do I do this? I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Cool. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh, damn. Getting work, too. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Nice. Okay, um, I need to buy a broom. Can I do that? Fox meat. I think you buy it here, but am I allowed to? That's a delivery. No. It's okay, quests. Oh, then it was but a taste. It says requirement level 6 and I'm like level 23. I wonder if I over leveled. Um, this is where I'm going. Let's go there. Rebellion. Have I seen this? Well done. Who knows? I adore that. You can't imagine how he can keep going upstairs. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Yo, the room of requirement. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've Let found me it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. 
This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Evanesco? I haven't heard of this one before. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. Cool. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Where did we? Ages or everything. Is that goodness? Revelio. Old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sorry. Rebellion. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Rebellion! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Random toilet. Oh, it's so cool. Rebellio. <laughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Rebellio. I supposed to be able to go up there. Some other time. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? What? Oh, I, I didn't see it. I heard it. Perhaps you should summon your wits Rebellion. and find out. <laughs> Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. Oh, that's cool. Rebellion. I hope that house elf can find us in here. There he is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. 
Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the subscription review of property. Yeah, I have two items, I think. Ooh, cool. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, we're gonna conjure stuff. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Recycle. Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Nice. Okay.
small, small electric, small botanical. Is that different skins or what is this? Coffee. Cool. Kind of like the coffee. Description. I already have that. How do I rotate? Oh, there you go. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. What are these? Shop pack with Quidditch equipment. <laughs> these are wall hangings. Artwork, decorations, furniture, rugs, seating tables. Seasonal decorations. Utility. Cool. Five small pots, two medium, large. will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Let me see what I've got here. Increased damage with ancient magic throw. Damn. Hold on, I'm gonna go through my inventory real quick. One sec. Okay, I think we're back. My recording for some reason didn't um, work that well, but. I kind of just did some decorating yeah, still in the room of requirement. This thing makes potions, random potions every now and then, which is kind of overpowered. I think I need more plants. I don't know how many pots can I have. But this is pretty cool. Uh, but I saw that we can go buy a broom. Let's go. 
go. Hogsmeade, here I come. Here it is. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. <clears throat> I presume you're in the market for a new broom? That's right. I've got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Give me your best one. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? First of all, let me sell some stuff. Nice doing business with you. Some trash here. I don't know, I'm keeping the legendary ones. I don't know if I could upgrade them, but for now. Oh, so they're all basically the same. Let's that see. item is of the highest quality. That one looks cool. That one looks cool. Oh, it has a little. Oh, this one actually has a seat. That item is of the highest quality. With a little tail there, man. I want to buy them all. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, uh, that item is of the highest quality. <laughs> the back I'm choosing. There's like no difference in them over here. Uh, that item is of the highest quality. We're going to go with this one. As a C. I don't know what this is. Like little bells. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You know what? I'm buying them all. I don't care. I wanna try them all. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Uh, what? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'd be quite money. happy with the performance of any broom it's okay. lower altitudes. They are the core. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments. Upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. I'm listening. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how uh -huh. your broom behaved. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Downed. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Cool. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Can I just start flying? That's cool though. I was going to see 
Um, well, better pots. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Unlock the pretty country dunk compass. Shopping station, I'll take that. Nothing like finding just the bucks, right I'll take that. Peace feeder spell, whatever. I'll take that. Dung. Tear refiner. Sure. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Too large. Medium. Two medium. Three medium. Three small, five small. Medium T shape. Let's do the five small. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Sure. <clears throat> Let me put some seeds real quick. I think. Seeds. Come, come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Meadow sweet, milk grass, flick sweet. Uh, I don't know what to get. Me, a small pot, small. Okay, so what? I have small. We'll get this one. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. And we'll get this one. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Oh, what's map? How do I get to the room of requirement? get this updated and I'll be right back okay we're back um, we need to talk to Milda I'm on the field. Hasn't cancelled it. We wouldn't be looking for the blast awesome. thing in the first place. Where are you? You have entered the area that allows flight. It's LB and V. What? Is this the only area that I can fly? No way. 
Sorry, getting distracted. <laughs> this is awesome. I need a view. I'm just gonna spend all day flying. That's a good view right there. All right, let me get rid of this thing here. Untrack quest. I guess I can enjoy this. That's insane. Rebellio. <laughs> you can rebellio up here. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. You sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. <laughs> Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Let's do it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. than it looks.
did it. <laughs> now that's more like it. Hold on. Okay, we're back. We gotta do it again. This is rather fun. <laughs> See if I can beat my score. Start the bubbles. This is rather fun. I think I got better time this time. I have to go, go back and compare. What do you have to say to that? Hmm? Huh? That's not... You must have cheated, you... Oh! Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Return to the podium to challenge what? I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Magic Mike. I forgot that was my name. Turn to Mr. Weeks in Hogsmeade. Oh. Oh. There you go. Need here I come. An honest day's work. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Hmm. Yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, 
How was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Complete sight. That's great. You can deserve a little pet. In the shadows, meet Sebastian. Potions. Tokens, Harry Pippin. That was great. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Wait, which am I going downstairs? Sebastian, my guy. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Cool. This way. Secret room. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. Rebellion. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. Really? Lee's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. 
He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Omnus spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. Let's do it. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. <laughs> You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Akio, stick to the target, sir. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Okay, uh, here we go. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo is a nice work. Ooh, nice. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Identify item. That's it. Well done. Nice. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Fellcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just oh, let good. me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key well, that... Well, just tell them everything. Key. <laughs> to Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. That's fine. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. 
When yeah. I head to Feldcroft, I trust I'll you. send you an owl. Rebellion. Little box. Cool. I think this is gonna do it. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Uh oh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Mm, I'll tell you the truth. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Chill, bro. Was not expecting that. But... I think this is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.